All right, I am gonna make a quick video for you guys because I've had a couple people ask me how you set the timing on these older Magnums and Sportsmans. I'm doing head gasket on it, so I have you know the whole engine torn apart, the timing off of it. Um, I just put the head back on it with new head gasket. So obviously to, to accurately set this timing, you're gonna have to have your, your stator cover and your stator off and then you can get a look at this lower gear on uh, on the crank and that that's how you line it up on the top up there on the the top timing gear <clears throat> but i'll show you this so this is the timing gear so there's two dimples here i'll show you there's two dimples right here and here if you notice at least on the chains at least on the chain that I have. I'm not sure if it's aftermarket, but I'm going to assume this is a Polaris chain. There's going to be two different colored links on that. Those two different colored links are the lighter links. You're going to match up on the top timing gear that goes to the cam. You're going to match those up with those two dimples that will set your timing at the top for top dead center. The bottom one oh, that you're going to match up in the bottom of the crank and there's a little notch cut out on the on the case that you can line that up. So let me get you over here, <clears throat> and I'll show you what we got going on, how we're going to time this thing accurately. <clears throat> so this is kind of a pain to do, because you're going to have to... You guys will be able to see this but you want to have your crank positioned bear with me there's gonna be a little dimple on the bottom of the crank or a little notch cut out it's gonna be right here I don't know if you can see that on camera, but that's the notch in that crank gear that you're gonna line up with this mark on the case. Obviously your engine is sitting in there, you know, at a at a at an angle, but that if you were to tilt the motor up, obviously I can't do that. But if you tilt it this way, that line from that mark on the case all the way up to the to your cam pulley or your cam gear is going to be a straight line that my light in here so i can see you're going to find your link your single colored link and you're going to set that right on that mark And you have that on the back. So now you can get your timing gear. Your timing gear can only go on there one way. This little notch right here goes on the dimple on the top of the cam, or the little nub that sticks out on the top of the cam. So, once again, you're gonna have to do some angling to get this in there. But, once you get the cam forward just,
there. Okay. You have it on. I'll show you your two dimples up top. Your cam is going straight or the gears. Sorry, I'm trying to get this light in there. Better spot. Um, you should be able to make it out. So basically you're running a straight line in this bolt hole, which is in the center. If I can get around that bracket. It's kind of hard to see. It's not the best angle. You're basically drawing a straight line from this at the top of the cam. And that should match up perfectly. Of course, I don't have the, the camera at a good angle, but that's what you're going for. Two colored chains at the top, matches the dimple. Back here, kind of hard to see. Your mark in the case, your other colored link in the chain. So that's how you set these accurately on the timing.